everybody, welcome back. This is Linear One, your K. Woody pipe magnate. And I actually have a new project here that I'm gonna be sharing with you folks today. And I'm gonna be having them up for sale shortly after I upload this video. I have a selection of pipes that I'm gonna be listing on the 901 St. James website. And these are really more of a service to the community. I'm getting tired of people not having access to good pipes, or not, let me rephrase that, not realizing that they have access to good quality pipes. Especially for the beginners in the world, you know, when you don't know that you want to spend $150 on a pipe or $120 and, you know, the, you know, $30 to $40 is much more palatable for you. So I released a line of pipes here. It's got five different shapes and I think there's something for everybody in this lineup. The pipes you see in front of you, I'm using them for reference along with this tin of Solani aged Burley Flake. Um, just to kind of give some perspective, because as we all know, one of the toughest things to do in a video, or especially still images, is to convey size, you know, the perspective, the size of the shape. Uh, for reference, this is kind of just like a standard, whatever this is, ounce and a half, one and three quarter ounce tin of tobacco. This is a Group 3 uh, oval shank billiard. This is a Dunhill Briere. Uh, this is a Group 3 size pipe. I think the chamber is just about three quarters of an inch by like an inch and a quarter, maybe inch and a half actually. Um, it, it's actually got the same size chamber as this pipe, which people you may be familiar with this. This is a Dr. Graybow uh, Omega, which is one of the more popular bent pipes. Um, downside with this pipe is, for me, is the plastic stem. Oh, it doesn't even want to come out today. There you go. This is not uh, vulcanite and neither is it acrylic. It's ABS plastic. So, whatever. But this is a, a Dr. Gray bow. These pipes retail, if I'm not mistaken, for around $39. Um, maybe even $40, depending on location. I think maybe they're cheaper at the factory if you get them for, I think, $32 or $35. Bucks. I'm not even 100% positive. Um, but you can see the downside with these pipes is not only the cheap stem. Uh, they have a lacquered finish, which this one, you can see the scratches and nicks all over it. It looks terrible the minute it gets nicked. And then aside from that, it starts chipping off and peeling off like it does there. And um, without relacquering the pipe, there ain't much you can do about it. Uh, this is a Dunhill that I just I cleaned up and restored and glued some wood back together just to put it together. So hopefully these pipes gain you, give you some perspective. Now let's go right to the first pipe. This pipe is called, lovingly, the Clark. Um, I named this pipe after Clark Gable because as you will, I'm going to try to put an image in the video here, he was seen smoking a big chunky billiard like this um, in a few movies and I actually think on the town. It's got a beautiful reddish brownish sand blasted finish with a wax finish on it. Very handsome pipe, very large pipe. If you see my hand and I have big old meat hooks, you can see how large this pipe is. I have the Speakeasy logo. Let me bring that right up so you can hopefully see that. I think you guys can see that. Speak easy. Made in the USA. And I got a little S there on the stem. Tapered vulcanite bit. Wonderful pipe. For comparison, here is a Group 3 billiard. At least it says it's a group three. And here is a Omega Grey Bow. So this pipe really, I mean, it dwarfs anything else in its range. Uh, this is a lot of value. Here's a tin of tobacco. I don't know if that helps you see how large it is or not. But that is the Clark. Next pipe up we have is the Hef. If you know anything about Hugh Hefner, uh, you will know that he smoked uh, almost exclusively black blasted apples from Dunhill. That was his shape, that was his pipe. They were unfortunately all very small. Um, he smoked nothing but like group twos. They were all very small pipes. This is much more substantial. Look at the size of this pipe. This is a black blasted apple. Beautiful old school fat this is what I call like a fat taper. It doesn't narrow too much at the end. Really good looking bit. Vulcanite, of course. Speakeasy logo, loud and proud on the side. Little white S on there. 
beautiful pipe for perspective. There's a tin of tobacco. Here is a group three billiard. So really uh, enormous, Not, I wouldn't say enormous, but you're getting a lot of pipe for your money. Uh, this pipe, as with all the pipes in this group, I don't know if I mentioned it with the Clark, they're $40. Next pipe. Okay, you're a crazy Irishman. You have to have a Dublin for whatever reason. This is a beautiful, generously stemmed, bent Dublin. It's got a very light bend, maybe one eighth or so. Uh, reddish brown, sandblast finish, a little bit more red than the Clark. Beautiful pipe, speakeasy logo, S on the side. Beautiful, beautiful wide, generous bit. Rubber, actually pretty darn light. For perspective, here's a tin of tobacco. Again, these aren't like dime store sized tiny little pipes. These are good sized pipes that, you know, they're gonna last a very long time. They're gonna offer you some great smokes and the value is unbeatable. Now, since we have a bent pipe, this will give you more perspective. You can see how much more pipe you're getting from my uh, Dublin here. Again, $40. And that is the speakeasy nicotine. The nicotine is the bent Dublin. Next. We know you're a philosopher. We know you think, we know you read books. We know you like to sit back in your chair and you need a pipe that you can clench. This, because you're a thinker, we designed this pipe for you. This is the Einstein. Big, big, bent billiard, nice generous chamber, sure to give you nice long smokes, finished in a beautiful dark brown stain, polished finish of course, all saddle stems on these, vulcanite again, there's your speakeasy logo. Beautiful pipes. Compare that to a Dr. Graybow bent pipe. I mean, there's, there's not a, there is not a lot to compare there. I'm giving you a lot more pipe, probably for less money. 40 bucks, what do you think of that? The last pipe in our collection of five that I'm offering is a Bulldog. And we are calling this guy the Churchill. Look at that beautiful British Bulldog. Can you beat that flavor? Look at that. Now the wood on these pipes uh, was remarkable. It didn't need many fills, if at all. There's actually some that have no fills. Uh, some actually have a little bit of flame grain on the bowl. It just depends on the pipe. I have these in two flavors. One in this really beautifully done tapered stem. Again, Vulcanite. Does this one have any fills in it? Let's see. Um, there may be one right there. But again, beautiful Bulldog. Much smaller pipe. You know, let's compare that to the Apple. I mean, you can see these are much smaller pipes. These are definitely what I would call probably a group two, maybe. Um, maybe a very small group three. But definitely uh, a smaller pipe. I wouldn't go so far as to say pocket pipe, but definitely a shorter, smaller smoke. But high quality wood, $40. Now, uh, this is the same pipe with the saddle stem on it. Same logo. Really came out wonderful, these pipes. And you can see the very, very generous saddle stem on there. Again, $40. Comparing that to a tennis Solani. This is a nice pipe. This, is, this could be an everyday pipe. Put it in your pocket, put it in your pouch to go. Let's uh, take a look at it with that and with a group three see that's that's uh it's getting it's very close to a, a small group three um, and that is the churchill how can you beat that forty dollars so again guys i'm gonna have these on 901 st james later this afternoon um enjoyment good health